All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to spectate a free-for-all Capture the Relic game on the map Oasis between my viewers, of course, part of my weekly Twitch TV live streams. If you want to get in on this, by all means, I encourage you to head on over to my Twitch page and scroll underneath the video player there. That way you'll find my live streaming schedule. I do also make an update on Facebook and Twitter each time I stream, so if you follow me there, you'll know. Welcome to the stream, Jazz P and Augustus Caesar, as well as Algernon. Thank you so much for uh, the subscription as well, Jazz P. Now, Capture the Relic is a new game mode added in Age of Empires 2 HD Edition on Steam as part of the Forgotten Expansion Pack. So, I've actually never played it on stream before. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a new game mode that is not present in the CD version. Something I'm looking forward to, to trying. We tried it before on Spiral, a special Capture the Relic map, and it was absolutely awful, so we're going to try Oasis and see how that goes. Players will be starting in the Castle Age to try and speed this up a little bit. So how Capture the Relic works is it's a game mode where every player starts with an invincible monastery, and the first player to capture the relic that is in the center of the map and then bring it to their starting monastery wins the game. You are not allowed to build extra monasteries. Before we get too far into things, I'm going to start off by introducing the players. We have Jeb playing as the Red Slavs, Giant Apple playing as the Green Aztecs, Gazna playing as the Yellow Berbers, Razor for the Win playing as the Blue Byzantines, Hutchie playing as the Purple Vikings, McKay playing as the Gray Spanish, and the Doogie playing as the Teal Ethiopians. Let's do it, guys. Already is incredibly unfair as the Doogie has... What is this? Oh, But everybody in Twitch chat did want to see Oasis, so we're going with Oasis. Uh, there are no breaks on this train. We <laughs> have to see how this match goes. This is the relic in the middle. Feast your eyes on it. And uh, the Doogie starts with an incredible natural advantage. This is something that uh, I warned everybody about if we did Oasis. But uh... Hey man, we'll have to see how this goes. Regardless, uh, if we were not doing a Castle Age start, the dominant strategy on Capture the Relic would of course be going for a fast Castle Age. That way you can get the, um, you know, the monk out immediately and then you try and and snag that relic. But here things are a little bit interesting because players will have to get to the Imperial Age first, so they're going to have to use, get to the Imperial Age first, research the Onager technology, cut through the forest, build a dock, get a transport ship, put the monk on the transport ship, have him not die, grab the relic, have him land here, have him walk all the way to your monastery. Thankfully, though, the Doogie's Monastery is near the back of his base. This shouldn't be incredibly unfair, and once players get their onagers out, this actually should be fine, so... This will be an interesting one. One of the problems that we ran into when we played Spiral is that it, you know, Spiral has this crazy, interesting maze in the middle of the map that just shows how in-depth the and powerful the Age of Empires II map generation can be. This is a very crazy maze. But the maze is deep water, so you can't you can only dock on the shallows, and there are only two entrances to the mazes, and the maze is huge, and it takes forever to actually get the relic out of the maze. In fact, it's almost impossible to actually get the monk to survive there. Um, and you can't, you know, abuse transport ships really to actually have him escape. So, <laughs> I think the spiral is a, a cute idea that shows how powerful the, the map gen is, but it's just not something that's fun to watch. Uh, it seems as though it was just impossible to actually win on spiral. So today... We're going to try this again, we're going to try it on Oasis based off popular community request. I do think that Migration could have been an interesting one, but I, I like the idea of Oasis. I was also thinking about Hill Fort. Uh, you, you run into the problem with Capture the Relic in that if you don't play it on a map where the Relic is actually very difficult to access early on, that players are just able to... It's like whoever gets the Castle Age first and makes the first monk wins the game, uh, more or less. Uh, you know, Unless everyone's like camping it with their scout, which they should be. So, I believe what happens, Elkabong, if the sh uh, transport ship holding the monk with the relic sinks, it just drops the relic off of the nearest uh, tile of land. Um, Charles Hardwood uh, asks, why must these games always contain war? Let's have a game where everyone marches their units across the map in a parade of friendship and tolerance, Angel Thump. <laughs> that would be nice, and that's basically how I used to play when I was a kid. Now, since everyone starts in the Castle Age, the Atonement technology is, of course, going to be absolutely instrumental in winning this game, as Atonement does allow your monks to convert enemy monks. Giant Apple here is some excellent deer luring, by the way, which in HD is no easy task. The secret, uh, the secret to success here, I believe, is just going to be booming quite nicely, getting a very large economy, trying um, to put down additional town centers quite soon, get a huge economy, get to the Imperial Age, build some onagers, and then cut your way 
to the center of the map. So, Swamp by the Doogie's perspective, it looks like he has realized that he has some excellent map generation. Will he be able to snag this relic underneath everyone's noses before they notice? He has a couple tiles of trees that he has to cut through first. Is he the Celts? He is not, so... Oh my god. I think everyone's going to panic if they see this. I feel like it's almost fair for me to warn them that Teal does have somewhat easy access to this, but it will take him a while to get there, and players should have plenty of time to get to the Imperial Age and try and stop him. And of course, uh, Light Cavalry are also going to be absolutely excellent here as uh, your group of mobile hitmen, so every time someone grabs the relic, you just come by, drive by, and knock out that monk. <laughs> Good to see you, Pony Ron Swanson. Uh, I finished Parks and Rex uh, like a little while ago, like a month ago, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, that and um, 30 Rock and Seinfeld I thoroughly enjoyed. Bunches of excellent shows. Now, into the game itself. McKay on his second town center, so good on him. Trying to take advantage of that Castle Age start. Uh, Gazna also on his second town center. Um, I actually did unlock the team, so players will be able to form alliances with each other if they so desire, as well as trade. But that is going to be mostly irrelevant uh, during this game. Uh, I could have just, you know, left the teams locked and still allowed players to trade if they so desired, but then I didn't want their trade cards to end up, you know, dying to a castle or something like that. So this does open the possibility of some sort of crazy betrayal shenanigans as we've seen in my free-for-all King of the Hill games, uh, which have been, you know, very popular and something that I like to mix in with my regular uploads. Because I know that the free-for-all King of the Hill games aren't for everybody, but it's also something that's just very exciting to see all these players just scramble desperately to try and you know, actually secure the objective and then sometimes forget about it. So if you're interested in seeing some crazy free-for-all games, I've got a million of those on my YouTube channel, as well as expert games, tutorials, and uh, videos for other games as well. Um, and again, I also really appreciate all the support, guys, for all the non-Age of Empires 2 content, too. So again, thank you so much. It's very important for the longevity of the channel. And uh, Armella particularly went over quite well. Uh, so I will have some more of that on the way. Perhaps by the time I post this on YouTube, I'll have already gotten back from my trip to Spain. That's something I'm looking forward to. I will be heading over to uh, Malaga, which will be from October 14th to the 22nd. It will be out of town in Spain. Something I'm very much looking forward to. I'll tell you guys about it when I get back. Uh, Log223 asks, next capture the relic, you should do a 3v3 where only the pocket player is allowed to take the relic and the other two must fight for control. Well, that could be interesting. We'll see. There's no trade anyways. Teal1 already says the black ones. Oh my. And yeah, Jazz P, I did update the uh, the Red Space email. Thank you so much for those of you guys who are uh, taking advantage of Twitch Prime and subscribing with that. Thank you, thank you. If you're not aware, if you are an Amazon Prime member, you can actually uh, use the Twitch Prime services, new service, for free if you're an Amazon Prime member already. Uh, and then with Twitch Prime, so you just go to the Twitch Prime website, uh, you can actually subscribe to one Twitch channel for free, assuming you're already an Amazon Prime member. So a lot of people have been using that as an opportunity to subscribe to me on Twitch. So thank you so much. Looks like McKay is prepping for some stone walls. I do think this is smart uh, as a way to make sure that you don't actually end up dying in later stages of the game. The question is for me is what is the what exactly is the best strategy when you're doing this sort of castle age start King of the Hill shenanigans? Uh, not King of the Hill, capture the relic shenanigans. How many villagers do you want to make before you actually advance to the next age? And that I'm not entirely sure of. If you end up full booming, I think that your your imperial age timing will actually be just too slow. And then uh, you risk actually losing the relic uh, early on before you really have a chance to do anything. So I think that a faster Imperial Age is in order. I missed a couple of your messages. Feel free to ask me again. And welcome to the stream as well. Uh, dumb is taught. A couple of asks, would you rather fight uh, 200 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Maybe 200 duck-sized horses, but that, uh, that's hard, man. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take down the... Uh, the Duck-sized horse, or the horse-sized duck. Yeah, pikes out for Harambe, guys. Uh, Pounds Bounce 99 asks, How the hell do you manage to read the chat while commentating, or do you just have one eye on each? Years of practice, and it's incredibly difficult, and also makes it very difficult to actually play while streaming. So I will say that after years of streaming, I respect streamers a lot more than I used to when I was just a, you know, just a viewer. Because it is very difficult, and it takes a lot of practice to you know, maintain a coherent train of thought, and then also just make sure that I'm reading the Twitch chat watching the game, and thank you so much, Ponyron Swanson, for the sub. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure if it's, like, valid to warn them that Teal is able to cut through this relatively quickly, so 
maybe I should do that in the interest of fairness. That way, players aren't caught completely off guard with the, with the free win here. Hopefully Teal doesn't mind, but I feel like it is fair that I warn them, because there's only one tile of tree left, so I'm going to just say, oh, okay, oh, Jine, on behalf of me, would you mind all chatting? All chatting to players. Uh, to beware that uh, people may be able to sooner than you think. And to be prepared. Before Imp even, if they cut. GLHF, thank you. Um, yeah, this is actually going to be quite unfair. <laughs> if the Doogie manages to take advantage of this, we'll have to see. I am going to uh, vaguely warn them, but I'm not going to... I mean, I, they should be aware of this, right? They should have some light cavalry or something. Uh, make sure they scout around. Like, someone could easily cut to it before before the Imperial Age. So we'll have to see. I just don't want Teal to win this game for free just because this map is super imbalanced. Now, of course, if Teal was an evil, evil monster, he would be retasking his villagers to actually cut through this just a little bit sooner. So what you get for not picking Monsoon? Monsoon is also awful. <laughs> The, the yogurt is also cursed. All these maps are awful. Hamburger, all the special maps. This is why we gravitate towards Arabia, ladies and gentlemen, because it's one of the few good maps in Age of Empires 2. The map editor is a powerful tool, but it must be used for good, not evil. Oh, God. Sweating intensifies. Who? Says Gazna. I'm not going to tell them. I'm just going to warn them. <laughs> God, this is this is so unfair. I wanted to do I wanted to do hideout, but hideout would also be bad. Yeah, I didn't want to be specific. I'm compromising here, Twitch chat. I'm compromising. I think this is fair because I don't think anybody was actually going to be prepared at all for this. Wow. We see here the Gazna is like who? Well, Gazna should be the only one that actually knows. Let's check out the Doogie's uh, the Doogie's vision. I don't think he's aware that he is a, a mad hacker, and then uh, Giant Apple has like n not really much scouting of any description. I think he's too focused on his res boom. Kind of McKay, everybody else. Not gonna show everybody's vision, but I'll show most of them. Well, well, well. I hope these players are ready. This is this is oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so rigged. Well, that's why I warned them, Flapjack. <laughs> Don't you bitch at me for making the map unfair, which is something that I absolutely have no control over. It's not like I'm God and I just... I woke up this morning and I was like, Let there be free winds for Teal. And then I just remove the forest by waving my hand. I warn them so that that way it's like slightly fair. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Actually, I lied. I guess I actually have the ability to do that. I can just wave my hand and make a forest disappear. I'm the logging industry's best friend. <laughs> Everyone knows you did that, Resonance 22, you dirty liar. <laughs> Alpha Trot asks, if they started with scouts, why would they scout around the entire? Why wouldn't they scout around the entire outside? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that this is going to be a free win for Teal. I, I want. I think. I think I compromised fairly here. If I didn't warn them, I guarantee. We've seen enough of my free for all King of the Hill games. I guarantee that everybody would have just been AFK, asleep at the wheel. This is really bad dock placement, by the way. He's blocked himself. What a Titanic. Where is Mem when you need him? <laughs> He's blocked himself. He just could have walked a villager over here to build a dock. Oh my God. <laughs> Disaster! Absolute disaster. No, so here's what happened. You guys have seen enough of my King of the Hill games that we all can agree, I know we can agree, that if I didn't say anything, that everybody would have been asleep at the wheel and just AFK, and Teal would have got his free win. But if I told them that, you know, Teal is the one with the OP map gen, that they would have just killed him and it wouldn't have been unfair. So I just wanted to make sure that they're all, you know, somewhat conscious and aware that it is possible that someone actually gets 
Okay, yeah, he just gave up. <laughs> he just deleted the dot. I, I want everyone to be aware that it, it's possible that someone, you know, hoodwinks them, snags this relic. He deleted the dock. That's one way to do it, I guess. He's got double, double monks. How many people are watching? I hope they're watching. Come on. There's the ah. Also shows the importance of scouting, by the way. Come on. Oh god, he's stuck. HD glitching. Come on. <laughs> he's there. Will Red stop him? Jeb may have lost the primaries, but has he lost the war? We'll find out. Here comes the boyars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can the Doogie do it? If the Doogie wins this game, that is probably... Oh god. He's just trying desperately to, to make these guys land. The Doogie wins this game. is a colossal failure on every player's part. Good, the monk is body blocked. It's on the way. Hope everyone's watching. Red can stop him. Red better stop him. Red, you wanna you wanna move your units up just a little bit. All right, good. Yellow's moving in some of his guys. Doogie's score is awful, by the way. Has he just? <laughs> the case says GG. No. <laughs> Gasm says no. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, this game's great. Stop him! Stop him, you fools! Red, yellow, all the other Power Rangers, just go! Go, 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 go! Why are they waiting so long? He's gonna misclick, watch. He's gonna misclick and he's gonna attack a villager or some shit. Oh, he's in the town center! Huge play from Teal! What the fuck? <laughs> he's in the town center! Here comes the Hellburners! Teal has, like, no economy! Oh my god, the jukes! <laughs> Where is everyone? Oh my god, he might do it because he put it in the town center. That was clutch. That hop into the TC. I think a lot of players would have forgotten about it. Here he comes. Is Yellow paying attention? Fog of War. Here he comes. Can he kill the monk? There's another monk. He's trying to stonewall the- oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, the monk is down. Both monks are down, and his monastery is being walled off. Teal killing two. He's queuing up two more monks. What the fuck is going on? And Yellow steals it. Boom! Suck it, Twitch chat. Teal does not get his free win. McKay said GG, but he meant more like GG Teal. I don't think I don't think Teal is playing from the long run here. But that was seriously a sick play. Like he's playing this like super well. So I gotta give major props to the Dookie. Sure, the map generation was like really unfair in his favor, but he, I think he played it really well, and I think a lot of other players would have one not noticed it, and they would have butchered it. Uh, they would not have like clutched Garrison in the TC. So huge play on his part. He does need to continue killing up villagers though, because he's down but not out. Here comes this. Here comes the monk. Where are the dudes? Where where was everybody? Oh my god. Gazna asked who, he was really just talking about himself. Now where are those Hussar? Oh god, he used to wait for this gate to build. McKay, open the wall! Don't wait! Oh god, look at the way he just stops moving all, all the time. McKay, just open the wall. Delete the hole. Go, go, go! Send the Hussars! What are you doing? Are you kidding me? He's even deleting the houses. Did that even speed it up? I don't know. Just go! Oh, he's going! Does he have husbandry? Come on, McKay, you can do it. Oh my god. Disaster. He's not gonna make it. No fucking way. Kasna wins. <laughs> GG, well, thanks, Teal. <laughs> GG, well played. <laughs> well played. I know you're not allowed to build another monastery. Well played, my friend. Well, that makes it for the fact that the last game was way too long and absolutely awful. This one was a little bit too fast. I probably could have uh, set it so that it was uh, like Feudal Age Start or something like that. I just didn't think the map would be this way. I also thought that the game would be a little bit closer. But still, this was extremely entertaining. This was fast and fun, like Dominion, except I can't make that joke anymore because I can't play Dominion anymore. Hachi the hero almost made it. Uh, Gazna should be nice, though. Gazna should be nice. It's all about being uh, humble in, in victory, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> and of course, uh, this victory is also attributed to Jeb attacking Teal, and uh, yeah. But yeah, it should be nice to Teal, as that was just, he just got hoodwinked here. Well played, Yellow. Thank you so much, Dilbert UK, for the 500 bits. Thank you so much for the cheer. Really appreciate it. My heart goes out to the Doogie. Uh, ah, you almost did it. We might do more Capture the Relic, hopefully with like a fairer map set up. I think that could be fun. <laughs> oh, man. Oasis would have been more golden if it wasn't so unfair. Uh, but I think it being unfair, what a twist. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's a shame the other players didn't really get to see any action this game, but I still thought it was extremely cute, so GG well played. <laughs> Yellow's plan was to use Teal all along. Hello, the Yellow King. Uh, bits are this new thing where it's just a way to... I guess I, I, get, I get some money from the bits, I just don't know how much I get. Um, it's something that you can buy on Twitch to spam my screen and get some fancy button next to your name if you want to stack them all. Um... I have yet to see someone who has sent a bit as a Twitch subscriber, a Twitch Prime subscriber, and a moderator, but that is the goal, I think. To be a Twitch Prime? Oh, yeah, if Giant buys one bit, then he could do it. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually buy uh, buy one bit, but... GG well played, guys. That was, that was a game. Um, but the real victor, of course, is Giant for having the largest economy. But one could argue that it's not the size of your economy that counts. It's how you use it. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> You'd have to be Twitch Prime as well, though, uh, Melanie, if you want to get all of them. Oh, Pete could do it. Goodness gracious. Well, GG, well played. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this match. I realize this match was incredibly short, but rest assured, the next few will not be this short. Just something fun to mix up a little bit. We've learned our lesson from playing two Capture the Relic games so far. One is that all the Capture Relic specific maps are actually awful, uh, and that it's really difficult to actually win on Spiral. Uh, and that we've learned with Oasis that uh, if players are more prepared, it could be actually incredibly exciting. Uh, it's the type of map that we didn't need to do the Castellage start on, but I thought that was cute. Kept it fast, that way there was less downtime, because I think the early game would have been boring anyway. So, overall, I give this map a... Uh, I give this match like a four relics out of five, uh, especially for the twist ending. If you guys enjoyed watching this, you know, please do leave a comment below. I do take the time to read them all, even if you don't get a chance to respond to each of them individually, as well as a thumbs up. Helps a lot. Feel free to share it around on social media, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, for example. Um, and yeah, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter if you're looking for updates, live stream schedule on Twitch. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stick around, because right after this, we're doing another match of Age of Empires 2. Thank you so much, Joshu Josharu Man, for the 10 bits. Tier 10, 1 bit is 1 cent, so 10 bits is 10 cents, and 100 bits is a dollar. Interesting. I don't know why this exists. You can get 10 bits by watching an ad? Nice. Nice. Good to see you, the Yellow King. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Alright. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned for more Age of Empires 2 action. GG well played. And remember, guys, be nice to Teal.